Hi everyone, Cindy A. Lewis here and welcome to my channel. First off, got to clear my space here, but this is how it is. So I have a young man that is really close to our family graduating tonight. And I know that this month is Junk Journal Month. So along that lines, I'm going to create him a card, sort of junk journal-y. I'm just going to create my own little, almost like a memory book with some of his pictures. I hope he doesn't mind. So, um, and then we're going to add some graduation things from Dollar Tree to it. And I've got a frame. I'm going to put one of the pictures in a frame and maybe put a little something on there. So anyway, I'm going to take you with me to do this and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. I don't know why I said bye-bye. We're not bye-byeing. Let's get started. Okay. All right. You're just seeing everything that I've pulled out so far. These are things from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to add to the journal. So we're going to set that out of the way. Here's some papers. It's a young man, so I do want it to be, um, you know, a little masculine. So I've got his pictures there. I also have a frame set aside, and then I have this connecting congrats that I want to add also as well. So I'll cut that out with my Gemini. All right, so picking the paper. First thing I'm going to do is just pick some papers. Now, I want at least eight pages that I can put a picture on. So I need at least four pages for the journal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, let's see, five. I'm probably going to do six pages, and then that way, if he wants to um, put in anything else, he can do that. So I'm just going to run through this real quick and pull some papers out that I think would work, um, that aren't too frilly, uh, you know, and I'm going to cut them. So this is a really nice one, and I'm going to, it feels cool too, and I'm going to cut them to be, um, I'm gonna make them eight inches by six inches. So the 12 by 12s will fold in half. It's called Treasures from DCWV. I had picked it up a long time ago at uh, Tuesday morning for $4.99. And I'm, I'm picking um, some heavy cardstock. It is not double-sided. So, so I'm cutting these to eight inches. I'm going to score at six so that I can, let's see, do I have a six on this? Score at six, it's right on this edge so that I can um, fold them in half really nice. All right, so for the front, I've got all mine assembled. This is going to be the front. I'm going to uh, cut out this congrats on mirror card. And I'm sorry about the reflection. It is going to reflect. Um, and I'm just going to, let me cut it kind of in the middle here. And then I can cut around it the way that I want it. So, all right. So I'm just going to put that through my Gemini. Well, it's just falling out. So it cuts out like this, really nice. So we just need to cut these pieces out and then figure out where I want them on here. It's a really nice die and you can see it just cuts out. So I am gonna cut around it and then we'll put it on here. So I know that there's a reflection, but this is what I'm gonna put on the front here. So I will glue that down in just a moment, but we're gonna put the journal together and I am gonna sew it. So let's get that needle and thread. Now this is just really fast. So I'm just gonna take my folded papers the way that I want them and I'm gonna put some clips on here, paper clips, just to hold them in place, okay? And this is an easy way to start any kind of journal if you wanna do it. I also have my deco needle and I have some embroidery floss. This is what I'm gonna use this time. So normally I use I use wax thread, which is my favorite, but we'll use this this time. So we've got one, two, three, and I do four. 
so that I have plenty of thread and then sometimes I even do a little more but I think we'll be good all right next I want to mark where I want my holes to be sewed in because I am gonna sew this journal with a pamphlet stitch so normally I would not use a uh, sharpie um, just because I want to be able to erase anything but I want you to be able to see, and I'm in the middle here, so this is where I'm gonna be cutting a hole, or putting a hole. This is eight inches, like we said. So I want one at four. So I want one there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one at one and a half up here. And then down here, we'll do one at six and a half, which is one and a half inches. So you can see these are where I'm going to make my holes for my journal. And this time, uh, because I'm in a hurry and I just want to do it this way, and I have some really thick papers, I'm going to go th um, make the holes with my crocodile here. And it has two different size holes, so I'm going to go with the smaller one, the 1 8. So I just line it up. I can see where it's going to come down want to make sure it's in the middle of that book and I'm going to come straight down on the hole that I made right there and then I'm going to do the same thing in the center now to put your um, to do your pamphlet stitch it's nice to have just a little piece of washi just to hold your uh, string or twine or whatever you're using but if you don't have washi you can use a clip to hold it or uh, just need like that extra help the way that I do my pamphlet stitch is I put a piece of washi to hold my string and I take my needle through the center all right then I'm gonna come up from the top it's really simple then I'm gonna go down through the bottom and then I'm gonna come back through this hole here, but I wanna be on the other side of the thread because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie a knot around that, okay? So we're just gonna tie that knot and pull it tight. And um, just I tie it a couple times. You can put a little dab of glue on there. Just want it to stay and hold your book uh, in place that you're making this little binding. This can also be called a signature if you were going to put it in a regular junk journal binder. Okay. Now, I don't want these too long. I don't know if uh, Destiny is into junk journals that much. All right. So, this is our junk journal. We put it together. We put our, sign uh, our pages together. And now, you can see I kind of got this on the front. But that's okay. I think it kind of adds some cool look to it. All right, so then I'm going to glue this down. And I think it looks good with that in the background. And I think you'll like that. So for this type of um, card, I would suggest using a tacky glue. If you get any on it, any glue on it, it's okay. But if you use like an alcohol based glue, and it seeps up on there, um, it can it can take the finish off and you don't want to do that so I'm gonna glue this down real quick All right I decided to do a little uh, with the leftover of this it looks like a football doesn't it all right so I might put uh, destiny's name here thinking of putting like 2023 grad or something so we'll see I think I might also attach this tassel through this hole so which will be cool but let's get to decorating on the inside now I did say I was going to um, add some decoration on the inside and I'm gonna add some pockets I'm gonna add some of the um, you know grad photo booth stuff from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to put some money in here for him for um, graduation. 
So I'm just gonna decorate it up. Probably won't talk through it. I'll just show you what I come up with at the end. Oh wait, I did wanna show you this pocket. So using my trimmer, I trimmed the pocket to the size that I wanted and I scored a half an inch at the sides and at the bottom. And then I'm gonna fold these over. And then when I add it to the page, it's gonna have a little more room than just if I glued it straight down. So I did wanna show you that. All right, I finished it. I wrapped it in some sari ribbon, which is cool for their school colors. Put 2023 grad here and a little hat, the little commencement hat. Just made a pocket here. I'm gonna um, put him a note and uh, some money in there. And then this is just, just made some pockets, a little envelope and a little tuck, tuck spots and tags. In case he wants to write anything, I don't know if he will, but you know. And then this one is um, just a little pocket, still drying, may not be totally dry yet, so I need to probably leave that alone. Then um, some more pages he can add to if he wants. And then pockets, and then 2023, a little belly band there. A um, couple of other pages, just just a little bit more than a card, right? And I didn't really make it um, junk journally, but I made it for him. So anyway, that's what I came up with. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing special for your grads. I'd love to know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.